everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell to get notified for when we have future videos coming out. For those that you don't know, I'm Kevin with Robertson's Power and Sports and today I want to talk a little bit about helmets in, specific, in particular, I should say, the BRP Oxygen Helmet. So, many of you have heard about the Oxygen Helmet, have many questions about it, and the first thing that everybody talks about is the price of the Oxygen Helmet, and yes, it is expensive, there is a little bit of sticker shock there, but I will tell you, I wear one of these helmets, and hands down, the best helmet that I have ever worn uh, in terms of visibility, um, warmth, how quiet they are, how tightly sealed they are. So, uh, if you're somebody that it doesn't matter the weather, you're gonna go ride really, really cold. This is something, a helmet you definitely wanna take a look at. Now, um, this one here is all new for this year. This is the SE model. So one of the, the biggest thing with the SE model, some people that have complained in the past is, these do have a built-in uh, chin curtain, if you will. Um, so on the other version, the older version, you just had one chin curtain here in the front. Now in the back, you have this one here that's gonna help give you a little bit more protection in the back of your neck for the wind coming down. I did notice that on the real cold days that even though it's not required to wear a head sock or a balaclava with this particular helmet, on the real cold days, I did wear one just to give myself a little bit more protection right here in the back. Now this year, excuse me, <coughs> with this helmet, this has it already built in, so I won't have to do that. Um, this. This head sock right here, this whole piece, is available now as an accessory, and you will be able to add it to your older oxygen helmet uh, if you choose to do so. So definitely keep that in mind. We do have them in stock here. I'll put a, um, a link to the part number below. That way there you can go ahead and order them. You're gonna order them in two sizes. Um, there's gonna be a 2XL, and that's basically for a 2XL size helmet and up. And then I think the other one is, is gonna say a large, and that's for that you know small, medium, large. Um, in extra large shell. So, a little bit about this helmet. This is made out of m -Porge. It is a light material, uh, so it's not a very, very heavy helmet at all, so you don't get a lot of neck fatigue at the end of the day. The other thing, the big thing with this helmet is its peripheral field of view. And you can see, compared to most helmets, how big your vision, your field of view is right here. That's one thing that I like about this is when you put the helmet on, that's the first thing you notice, the ability to look left to right and then down. You don't have to tip your head all the way down like you do with a regular helmet. This year, you literally just use your eyes to look down. Very, very warm helmet. Uh, like I said, this does have the built-in the head sock. You don't have to wear a balaclava with it. Um, also, these do have a sun visor built right in. They come standard with an amber lens. You can get a tinted lens as well if you're going to be doing a lot of day riding in the sun. That way there it's tinted almost like a pair of sunglasses. Inside this helmet, they have what they call a noise canceling system. It's a, an ear pad, if you will, almost looks like what you would wear for noise protection. Um, you do not have to keep these in the helmet. So when you go to the store and you try one of these on, keep in mind this helmet is going to feel like it's going to fit differently whether these are in or out. So that's a big thing that I want to tell people. I personally don't use these. I don't like the feel of anything around my ears. They're just Velcro, so they're easy to put in and out. The other thing that I want to tell you about the Oxygen Helmet that I really like is the ability to custom fit this to you. And what I mean by that is the cheek pads. We can change the cheek pads out. We can change the padding in the head out. So if you try one of these helmets on, and you feel that it fits you really, really good up in the top, but the cheeks are just a little bit too tight, we can go ahead and change those cheek pads out to a different size to accommodate it. So don't feel like just when you put this helmet on that that's the way it fits. Talk to your dealer, ask them about custom fitting this to you, and you'll be really, really happy that you did. Um, the other thing that I will talk about the oxygen helmet compared to other of the VRP helmets in the past, it's you may have may not noticed on the modular helmets, the modular two, the modular three, that you would go to flip that sun shield down and it would get bogged up pretty easily. 
This one here stores up in the helmet. You can see right here, we call this the garage. It stores up in there and there, there is plenty of heat from this helmet that's gonna be able to keep that from fogging up when you flip it down. Uh, again, extremely warm helmet. It's, it's sealed up really, really nicely. Um, it does have a spot inside where you can, for those of you that wear glasses, to be able to put your glasses through there. I will say that everybody is different, so many people that have worn this helmet will have a different uh, approach to being able to wear glasses and having them not fog up. Some people will just leave this crack open just a little bit. Some of them will open the vents here on the bottom to get the air out. Um, some people can run this closed all the time without a problem. It's everybody's a little bit different the way we breathe, etc. So um, if you have glasses, you're just going to have to kind of figure out what's going to work best for you overall. But when it comes to helmets, the oxygen helmet for all types of riding conditions has never failed me and it's never going to fail you either. Uh, really, really nice setup. This is a heated shield. That's the only way it comes. Uh, it does on the, on the back here. We're going to have an LED light. So when you plug your electric shield plug into the helmet, this here is just all done magnetically on the back. This light here will light up so you know you're plugged in. And also a nice safety feature uh, for those that are going to be riding behind you. They can see you, um, especially at night or snow, snow dust conditions. Um, again, I can't say enough good things about this helmet. Uh, one of the accessories that you can get for this helmet as well is an LED light. And we have these in stock right here. And what that LED light does is it mounts right here. So at nighttime, if you're stopped on the side of the trail, you can go ahead and clip that, turn that light on. If you're looking around in bags or whatnot, it's just a real handy light that's going to be right there at your fingertips at all times. So talking about snowmobile helmets, this is number one on my list for sure. Uh, if you have any questions regarding the oxygen helmet, feel free to give us a call at 207-324-5502 or stop in the store. We'd love to chat with, love to chat with you. Have a great day.